Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Now in today's video we're looking at something rather fantastic made by a well-known Space Engineers Workshop developer, Ronnie Dude. Now this is called the Mesu Bullet Train. Now I've had the pleasure of actually trying out a different version of this thanks to Ronnie Dude letting me play around with his private workshop piece. I don't know whether this is the same map, I haven't actually checked it out, we're just going to wing it basically. But last time, I was going to make a video on his original piece, but it was too unstable to actually do, but this is going quite well despite it being a little bit laggy. So what this is, is a giant bullet train capable of going 100 meters per second, even around corners, and it's just an absolutely huge track. If I come all the way through here, this is the spawn room where we started. We have this lovely blurb on the wall telling you some of the issues and all that and what this is actually for. But most importantly, it states that it will roughly take 30 to 40 minutes to go around the track. Yeah, let that sink in. He has built a train track that can run at 100 meters per second and it will take you roughly 30 to 40 minutes to go all the way around. So this is an absolute insane creation. God knows how long it took you to make this, but I'm impressed just by that itself. So anyway, when we start off, we have that little spawn room and then we can enter into the station. We have little artwork everywhere. We can see part of the track in the distance. I believe this is a custom world and not the default starting Earth. We've of course got the vending machines here, which they don't do anything, but they just look very pretty. So we've got Mountain Dew, we've got big bennies, grab and eat, and of course we have the train. Now before we get into the train, let's just head on out. We've got some little billboards around here with some advertisements, and this is the station itself. It is hovering. As Ronnie Dude stated, this was a test for his own world where it will be going through his city. So without further ado, let's go into the train itself. So the train is basically set up like most little trams. It has little seats in there and the carriages go all the way back. We can close and open the doors. If you're wondering how it's attached to the railing, which this was kind of amazing when I found out in his little private map, it's done with wheels between blast door edges instead of the traditional of having the wheels hooked around the blast door edge. Doing it like this allows it to go around corners at high speeds, although it is still a little bit unstable and may be prone to crashing. So if we come all the way around here, let's go into the actual... What do you actually call that on the train? Cock... It's, well, let's just say it's a cockpit for now. So pressing I and coming over to the control panel, we will now want to go for the remote control block, which is, yes, remote control. And we're going to control it. Now, if I bring up the HUD, we have a few little controls. First things first, undo the parking brake. And then we have some options. So we have the thrusters, which will just make you go. We have the cameras. We then have a second camera and a blank box. So we're going to press number one and away the train goes. When I was playing around with his private test map, I will say it sounded fantastic going along the rails. And it it's just incredible the way that this has been set up. Let's remove the HUD and here we go. It's... Well, it's fantastic. Am I going to sit here for 40 minutes? I don't know. I might have to cut out a few bits if I am going to do that. Otherwise, it's going to take me a few years to upload it. And as you saw there, we went around the corner. No problems. We're at about 70 meters a second and we're slowly, slowly speeding up. We are at maximum power and we are wobbling a little bit, but it's no problem. The only issue with this map that you may have run into is trees and rocks that spawn inside the track because sometimes even if you remove them they'll just randomly reappear and you're going to be in hell of a ride. Now the frame rate is chugging and this was a warning actually on the workshop itself so if you do have a low end system like a very weak CPU you're going to have to play this either on very low or not at all. On a mid-range system like mine, you can get roughly 30 frames a second on about medium-ish graphics. And if you have high-end system, then you can just ignore any of this blurb. But yeah, this is basically all it is, and it's rather fantastic. You can sort of see the smoke coming out of the track, but don't be alarmed. That is just the wheels going along the little blast or edges, which is perfectly normal. If you were to take the wheels and put them on a regular surface, you would get the same effect. It's only until you hear an explosion do you have to get worried? So this is a tight corner coming up. So let's see how it handles. 
Look at that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And that is a very tight corner. 99, 100 meters a second. Zero issues. Incredible. So let's now come into first person and just press F. Undo the jetpack. And now let's just go and have a little walk around, shall we? So we got little seats in here. What I will say is if you get in the seat and get out again, you don't get ejected out the window, which is one of my biggest complaints with some other workshop designs, especially small vehicles, where if you are traveling at a high speed, like what we're going at right now, you do not want to be ejected out. So we have these little buttons on here, which I probably should have shown. So we press that, that closes that door. And pressing it again, we'll open that. The red button opens up the side doors. So what you're looking at right here is basically each carriage is separate, and this is what allows it to turn around corners so well. It's set up like a traditional train in a train station or one of those weird flexi buses where they are separate carriages that are joined by a little block. I'm not actually sure what it's joined up by. But yeah, let's keep going along here. So we got even more seats. We got some smoke coming through here, but this is fine. Everything's fine. It's so weird though, walking backwards and like that while we're moving. And of course we come through here again. And we have some drink stations. Oh yes, we got some Sprite, we got some Mountain Dew. We got some Coca-Cola Journey, never heard of that one before. We got some Pepsi, we got some, oh God, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And we got some more seats around here. If you want to face the other person in the seat, just stare deeply into their eyes and make them uncomfortable for the entire journey. I will go up those steps in just a second. But let's keep going down the carriages. So going further down here, we have, is this a disco room? I do believe this might be a disco room. <laughs> What's this say? This says nothing. But yeah, there's a disco room in here, like a mini nightclub going on. And at the back here, we have a button if you want to eject yourself out. I don't know what that was over there, but never mind, eh? So now we're going to go all the way back to this little ramp in here and see what's on the tippy top of it. So around past the little drink stall, we now have like the private area or the like super CEO business area where like you have dining tables and everything like that. Oh, that is spooky. I can't imagine how long this took because when you look at it like that, just how close you are to the edges, just making sure you don't randomly clip a little bit of rock and blow the whole thing up. So we've got some more doors here. And like, just very carefully take a little peeky outside. I mean, look at that. That's amazing. So around here, I don't actually know what this is. We might have to hop out and take a little look, but I believe this is like a small business center. Maybe it is a Ruddy Dude Incorporated. I do not know, but look at that. All the way through. I would not trust that on my building. So this is the Beisu bullet train. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. There will be a link to it in the description below. I very much recommend that you download and try it yourself. Because stuff like this is always fun to play around with. And perhaps you could take some of it away and make a few things yourself based on this design. So anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.